The other day when I went to the Dollar Tree, I picked up some wine glasses, which I made a tutorial about those. And I also picked up some of these ceramic mugs and I picked up a few other things as well. But today I just wanted to work with this ceramic mug. But after last Friday's tutorial where I was working with alcohol inks, it kind of got me in the mood to work with some more alcohol inks. So I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to use this mug. I also like the fact that it has a bit of a dip on the bottom so you could kind of fill that with glitter. So we're just going to see where this takes us and just go from there and, and let our imaginations take control. Now all those teak woods that I just pulled out of there, I actually have another bulk order that I have to do and they're all wood and I believe there's about 30 of them. I have to ask Jeff, he knows for sure. But I have about 30 of those I gotta do. So I, I have a bunch of my teak wood and we'll be going over that in another vlog another day. So I just very randomly picked out a few colors. I didn't want to get too crazy, even though I still picked out quite a few down there. I ended up not using some of them, but that's okay. I mean, you never know. That's, that's why I pulled them out. I thought I might. And I also have some rubbing alcohol. I have some in the container and I have some in a spritz bottle. So just two different ways to be able to distribute the rubbing alcohol onto this mug. Now it's time for the fun stuff. We're gonna go ahead and soak that mug in our rubbing alcohol. This is going to make sure that when we drip down our alcohol inks that they kind of roll around and disperse and it's gonna get that coloring going on our mug. Now I have my fancy hair dryer that I use for everything and I accidentally put it on too high. You just want it on low speed. You don't need it up too high. And I'm gonna go ahead and start shifting those colors around or that one color, we just did yellow so far. And then I decided to add some hot pink, which I really liked it at first. I, I really did. So I'm going to go ahead. I gave a little bit more rubbing alcohol onto the mug and I'm going to drip down my pink. And I was really liking this. I like this combination. I really like yellow and pink together. It's very vibrant. It's very fun. But, you know, not everything goes as planned. So I'm going to show you guys exactly where I messed up on these two colors uh, here in a second. So I grabbed some pearl. It's like a Tim Holtz pearl color. And it the mug was not wet enough for the pearl. So once you drop down these alloys or these pearls, they tend to coagulate rather than disperse evenly like the inks do. So I'm going to show you here in a minute what I mean. But it was like as soon as I dropped it down, it just didn't want to move. And then I thought, well, maybe if I, I doused it again with the rubbing alcohol, it wasn't going anywhere. So what I had to do was pretty much just take my finger and pull all that off. So that way it wasn't on my mug anymore. But I really like these vlogs because I can kind of show you guys that sometimes I, I'm, I do mess up. Sometimes this happens and it's okay because we're human beings and sometimes art doesn't go the way we want it to, but that's okay. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that off and we're going to keep going with it. So I tried, after I pulled everything off, I tried doing the yellow and the pink once more, but after I got it on, it just didn't look right anymore. The yellow was more of a mustard rather than a bright yellow after I tried, because everything was mixed together the first time around. So it just wasn't coming out exactly how it was the first time. So maybe another time I'll try the pink and yellow again because it was looking cute, all right? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take pur my purples and I'm gonna take blues and I can't remember what else I used here. Oh, now I remember. I ended up using a copper alloy as well, which was I, I made sure that my cup was fully soaked in my rubbing alcohol before I applied it so that way I knew it wouldn't coagulate on me, so. <laughs> But I know I did a tutorial on something very similar to this. Gosh, I want to say back in March. I want I do believe because I, I made it for my daughter and it, it's pretty much the same basis. I'm just taking the rubbing alcohol and I'm going to blow it around and, and make all those colors kind of mix together and they're going to form their own kind of colors and do their own thing. But this is one of those things that if it if you mess up on it, just soak it in your rubbing alcohol and keep going because I tell you what, it turned out completely different looking from whenever it did earlier. But like I said earlier, I do have a tutorial of, of something I did very, very similar. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll make sure to tag it if you want 
kind of a little bit more in-depth on it and all that because it's just so hard to tell you guys exactly what colors I use because the yellow mixed with some of these other colors and made these other colors like another color that I didn't even have. So like everything mixed together is going to make this mug look completely different from your mug if I, I told you the colors. But the whole thing is, is you just have fun. You drip your colors down with a bunch of rubbing alcohol, blow it around with your hair dryer on a low speed, blend it all together until it becomes the way that you want it to look. And it's okay to keep going and, and build those colors. You don't have to just stop at one layer. It's okay to build those colors. Also, this is very messy, okay? It's gonna get inside your mug, it's gonna get on the table, it's gonna get on your hands, so I just want you guys to be prepared for that. You're gonna be fully in this art piece. <laughs> and there we go, after many layers and some oopsies, there we go, I absolutely love the coloring on this. That copper is just an amazing color. I love it so, so much. So I'm gonna kinda of set that off to the side and let that dry for about 30 minutes, and then I am going to spray it with some spray sealer because I absolutely forgot that I had bought a different type of sealer, which I'm gonna show you guys here at towards the end, I bought a different kind of sealer where it's not spray, it's like a liquid that you put on. So we'll kind of go over that together at the end here. Because I mixed up some Tim Holtz and I also have some of my Jen's Crafted Gems inks on here and the ones that are Tim Holtz are at the very bottom and I want you to see the difference after I gave it a coat of spray sealer, the purple kind of disappeared on me a bit, which Tim Holtz is known to do that. Um, that's why I really enjoy the the smaller boutique style um, alcohol inks because it doesn't do that when I spray seal it. And this was after I spray sealed it. So now it's time for its epoxy and into my epoxy I put a little bit of SOC sparkle dust and champagne and also in Al fresco. So I wanted you guys to see this kind of not in my my lights here because it's hard to see that holographic and in my glitters unless it's like off camera and then my camera's slipping here. So there you go, you get to see that too. But one's a holographic and one just kind of shines more of a golden undertone. So that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to give it a little bit more sparkle because it kind of reminded me a little bit of a galaxy or a sunset. So I am using a quick set epoxy and I applied 10 milliliters of it onto this mug along with my sparkle dust. I'm gonna hit it up really good with my torch. I'm gonna let that cure and then we're ready to move on to the next step. So we are outside. I just wanna show off a little bit of that sparkle before we start spray painting because I, I moved it out of the sun to spray paint. But I'm gonna take this metallic finish uh, spray paint here. It's, it's very vibrant gold. It goes really well, especially when you put epoxy over top of it, 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 it continues to stay that shiny metallic gold, which I like because I know sometimes I've used metallic spray paints and it dulls down after you apply the epoxy, but this doesn't do that. So here I want to add some speckles of the gold. So what I do to achieve that is I hold down the trigger or the nozzle of the spray paint and then I just let it go very slowly until that paint just starts to trickle out of the end and then I just hold my mug under it and it gives those speckles. Now I want you to go into this next part with confidence, okay? You got this. If you're if you're remaking this mug, you got this. We're going to spray the bottom, okay? Spray, spray, spray. It's going to be fine. A little bit got on the handle, not a big deal. It adds to it, okay? Then we're going to come through and just do a very light fade around the very bottom. So all I do is take the nozzle and I do short, quick burst and have most of that plume off to the side where the mug is not at. So just a little bit of that plume is just hitting the very, very bottom and you're just gonna go around one time with it and there you go, you have a little bit of a gold fade up the bottom and the bottom is gold now. Now I let that dry completely and then I cut out this quote and I'm actually, I cut it completely apart because just the way that this mug curves, I just, it, it's just easier this way. So <laughs> I just cut out um, each, each area so that way I could form it straight across. Also, this is just directly over the spray paint we did. Okay, just just so you know, I, I just wanted you get I just wanted to clarify that. Also, um, I'm going to attach where I got the decal. I got it off of Creative Fabrica. If you use the decal, most of them have like this box, like a decorative box that went around it. Um, if, if you go on and you, you look at it, you'll see what I mean. I ended up taking off that that decorative box, you know, because again, I just didn't feel like I'd be able to get that to be straight around the, the quote. So I just went ahead and removed that after I had it cut out. 
And I really like the color of this vinyl as well. It's like a grayish blue. It's very pretty. It goes very well with, with the coloring of the mug. Before we get those final coats of epoxy on, I'm going to go ahead and give my mug a glitter butt, okay? So I'm going to take some UV resin, and I took some golden hours, like a champagne with purple stars. I figure it went really well. Again, with the coloring, I'm going to go ahead and apply that right down into that dip on the bottom. After I get that filled in, I'm just going to cure it with my UV flashlight, and then we're ready to move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that flashlight on the bottom here so that way it can cure like that because I don't have one of those big lamps. So to seal down everything, I'm gonna use this adhesive apothecary binding potion. The instructions state, with your bare finger, gloved finger, or soft bristled brush, apply a thin coat evenly onto your glitter, vinyl, striping tape, wood, fabric, paint, and so much more. Binding Potion is a water-based, non-toxic, and VOC-free product. It's multi-purpose properties for a make a strong bond for your projects whether you make freshies tumblers woodwork and more this is not an epoxy alternative please allow 15 to 60 minutes to dry depending on how thick you applied now this is my first time ever using any type of sealer other than my spray sealer I've used my spray sealer since the beginning. So I'm kind of excited to try this out and see, you know, cause sometimes it's raining out or sometimes it's, it's too hot out. I don't want to go out or it's too cold, you know? So this is a great alternative, I think, to that, you know? So let's see how it works. Now, last week I mentioned, because I, I do use her glitter glue and I really like her glitter glue. So that's why I was excited to use this, this binding potion um, that we talked about how this can also be used to make ornaments, Christmas ornaments. And uh, so we're going to have to come back through and we'll give that a go too. So that's going to have to be another in another vlog as well. So as you see, when you put it down, I'm just using my finger and I'm doing very thin coats and it does have a bit of a milky look. And again, you know, not using, not ever have using anything else. Um, it, it did make me a little nervous. It did. <laughs> but I, that's all I'm going to do is just real thin coats. As you guys see, uh, as, after I get going here, I'm just doing a little dabs. Like that's all it really needed. It didn't need too much to do what it needed to do. So, and again, I'm making sure that I do the entire mug with this and I am going to be going over that, that, those vinyls as well. But the main thing I want you guys to focus on are the vinyl decals. So when I put it over the vinyl decals, again, it gives it that kind of milky look to it. And again, sometimes when I use the spray sealer, you can see the speckles of the spray sealer on it. It happens sometimes, you know. But with this, uh, I put it over it and I'm like, okay, it, it does have that bit of a milky look to it. But again, I want you guys to see what after this is dry. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I took my hair dryer on low and I, I warmed it up to kind of dry it a little bit quicker, which it did, okay? And this is what it looks like. Look at this. You can't, it's like crystal clear. You can't even see where the stuff is at. Look at that. It's amazing. I absolutely love it and I absolutely highly recommend it. So the only thing I have left to do with this is go ahead and put its last two finishing coats of epoxy on and it's it's done. It's ready to go. Hold on. I've been up since like three this morning. So <laughs> I pretty much busted this tumbler or mug out since then. So let me let me finish decorating here. Okay, there we go. Oh, I look there, not not over there. Okay. <laughs> so this tumbler is pretty much done. So let me show it to you guys. Look at I love it so much. I love it so, so much. You can't look. So that binding potion, that was my, like I said, that was my very first time ever using a, a sealer outside of my normal spray sealer. You guys know I've promoted spray sealer since day one. <laughs> I've been, I've been promoting it, but this, this might be a game changer, especially for those of us who live in like, crazy crazy areas for weather certain times of the year so like I get crazy rain in the summer uh, you guys might get crazy snow in the winter so this is a great thing to have so that way you don't have to go outside and spray seal because sometimes here where I'm at if I go out certain times of the day especially early in the morning um, the humidity is just so crazy that if I spray seal my tumblers there'll be a milky haze on it and it's permanent and won't come off. Sometimes it'll, 
if I put the epoxy on, it'll go away, but sometimes it won't. And that's very discouraging. So, so yes, I highly recommend. Anyways, moving back to over to the, <laughs> moving back over to this. Absolutely. Lo look at that. I love the coloring on that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, so this week is Thanksgiving. So that means that Friday is Black Friday. And I do plan on having a huge end of the year Black Friday sale. It's gonna be one day only. I'm not gonna tell you guys too much, but it is the biggest sale I've had all year. Um, I, I've had a few sales throughout the year. This one's going to be the biggest. And it's also going to be the last sale for this year. So I'm not gonna have any more sales until next year so i'm just letting you guys know in advance kind of mark your calendar maybe put some stuff on your wish list or you know maybe put stuff in your cart or whatever you need to do i'm just saying <laughs> but just kind of be prepared for that if you're if you've been looking at some glitters that you've been wanting this friday will be definitely be the time to do that now also there is cyber monday um i do plan on doing something for cyber monday which will be completely different from the glitter thing it's going to be more based off gift cards type things. Also, I, now that I, I said that, but I, I do have some new glitters in my shop as well. So this is called Wishful Blue Spruce Magic Key, which I, I feel like it, it's going to be underrated. It is such a cool color. It really is. I have, let me see, I did up some car coasters that'll have to be something separate I do with you guys. But I did up some new car coasters in it, but it's like a champagne and it's hard to tell in these lights. These lights are horrible for glitter, but it reflects like a purple. I don't know. Anyways, I got Magic Key and then Cardinal. Now Cardinal, uh, for those of you that like to buy my glitter, you guys know that I have a red glitter already. It's called Cherry Bomb. I've had that glitter since day one. It was one of my signature colors that I had made when I first started, but sadly that has to go and Cardinal's going to be replacing it. So I still have, I don't, there we go. I still have some Cherry Bomb left. If you guys wanna get those, those will be available. But after that's all gone, this will be what takes over, just so you guys know. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. I think that's all I needed to say. I had so much fun making this with you guys. I love it so much. I need to do more of these. Also, I didn't tell you guys, I just wiped out the inside. Okay, <laughs> I wiped out the inside with uh, rubbing alcohol. That's all I did after I did the epoxy and stuff. So that way I didn't accidentally wipe away that. And I just kind of scuffed up the rim as I went as well. I forgot to tell you guys that. That's what I did for the rim, okay? <laughs> it still needs to be cleaned one more time. But yeah, it's, it's that simple, all right? Just, just so you guys know. Anyways, <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for me today. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.